Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations. And grab a cup, join me for episode number 28. I have ras chocolate raspberry with uh, peppermint mocha creamer. Awesome. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. I love it. I hope that you can hear me over the fan because it's pretty warm today. I have the fan blowing and the door slightly open so we can do this and hopefully it'll be a good show <laughs> without me sweating to death. <laughs> I always start out with Christie's Closet D stash. This week we had four skeins of this Lighthouse Haven. It's from Hirschner's, and this was um, one by, I wrote it down, <laughs> oh, Karen, I'm not sure how to say her name, Cooch Embarrass, I, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's Karen, and she already claimed it, so that's last week. This week we had two of these big balls that came from the mystery bags from DBNY. And there's no labels and nothing on them. And it appears to be kind of like a, a sock yarn to me. And it's, it's quite, quite thin. And it has all kinds of colors. Greens, red, uh, cream and then even more flex. So there, there's a lot of tweed going on in there. If you'd like to win that, or try to win that, you need to be a member of my Facebook group. That link will be below. All the things going on in the Facebook group is um, in the announcements tab of that. You can read the welcome letter. It'll tell you how to navigate the site. And there's all kinds of stuff going on over there all the time. <clears throat> One of the things that I do is I co-host a Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge for this year with uh, Christy Cook from T Dottles. And I decided I needed to have another make for that. And so I made another pair of these booties out of uh, scrap yarn. And these are in a sparkle. So they're just my Mary Janes that I make all the time. And I added a little flower button. And this one happens to be a green a smiley face one. I just picked these up from Joann's last Monday night. They were, they were one of the things that I grabbed when we decided to open up and let people in the stores finally. So... I did go to a couple stores and these were another scrappy item for that. If you'd like to join that, I will link the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge link below also. So I have another uh, friend, uh, Kim from the Crafty Nomad, and we have a show every three weeks, just about. And it's called Hook and Stitch Live. And our next one is next Saturday, the 27th of June. And it is at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time and 9 a.m. Pacific. So that is an interesting show. It is a community entertainment show. Like, we, we share everything. We share patterns. We share other shows. We share other... Uh, knit alongs, crochet alongs, any kind of event. We have uh, a, a seven segments at the moment where first we will show our whips and then we'll show our, our finishes and we encourage you to join us and come on and show what you're doing and talk about what you may uh, be, be joining in on or know about and uh, just basically a, a, a community show. So hopefully you'll join us if you haven't heard about that. One of my um, 
works in progress this week is uh, a blanket I'm making out of uh, ice cream yarn. This one is the banana split. And so far, I've managed to use one whole skein of this. And if I can find my stitch markers. Okay. So I've, I'm one skein in. And my stitch marker is right there. That's where I was last time I showed it. It's growing. And like I said, it is growing on me as far as the color, too. It's, it's okay. I'll link the pattern I'm using down. It's a granny square pattern. But I, I, will, I will link it. I've linked it twice before already, so... Um, the Crochet Autumn Magazine came this week, and I gotta tell you, this is my last issue till I need to pay again, and oh, they just chocked it full of stuff to do, all kinds of stuff. Now, normally, I find two or three items I like, and this month, there has to be seven or eight that I would really like to do and there's probably 20 in here I mean this this is interesting right here it's a hat I know but <laughs> they're doing a crochet hat with a knitted ribbing oh yeah yeah I had to point that out to you and it goes into discussing a lot of things that are similar between crochet and knit and yes um, I agree if you crochet first and then you go to knit I think it is easier I really do I mean yes you're using two needles but I don't know it just seems like you're already using two hands so you've already got this hand doesn't always listen to me but <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to show you a couple of items in here that were really kind of cool. That one is really a pretty stitch. And then, of course, they always throw in something that I have to put on my queue to make. So there is a medium for sweater that has a hood, and I will make that. In fact, I'm, I think I picked out the yarn already. So I was excited about that. So last week, episode 27, I said that we were going to hit 500 subscribers and that when we did, we would have a giveaway. So I put all the information in episode 27 for that 500 subscriber giveaway. However, I did not say when I was going to pick the winner and the reason for that was because I hadn't hit 500 yet. As of today... I saw there was 513, so yes, 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 yes. So you want to go over to episode 27, and you want to uh, enter into that and into that giveaway. It will be chose. I will pick the winner on uh, July 5th. Let's let the dog in now, if I can. There we go. <laughs> interruptions today okay so the next thing I was going to show was my oh okay so in my uh, group we have a couple of make-alongs one of them is hats hats and more hats that is a year-long make-along and I also make the hats along with you and I'm up to hat number 32 I think this is it's one I've been working on for a while. It's the Ross hat. I was doing it in Aurora. Premier Aurora in the colorway Woodland. I'm knitting it on a size 5 millimeters, but it's done. I finished it. So this is the Ross hat. I'll link the pattern below. This is a lot of greens, oranges, all the colors you would see in the woods. I did do the decrease hat top this time it was challenging because when you get down I mean it wasn't challenging to do the stitches when you had like eight on each one but when you get down to two or three they slide off so yeah but I did it I did it and it came this hat came out wonderful 
just wonderful. Doug has not tried this on yet, but I'm thinking it's a little warm in here to try on in a winter hat, but I think it came out great. So that's my hat 32. Wow. Now the next thing on the list to show you today that was finished was a sweater that I'd been working on for weeks and weeks. It was the very first knit sweater that I started with this Tara. This Tara is uh, got a little bit of wool in it. It's a Hershner's, oh actually it's a willow. It's a willow yarn. And it was supposed to have 18% wool in it. You can, you can't barely feel. It has a little halo. Well, guess what? I finished the sweater. I did other sweaters in, in the meantime, but I had started this and I was set, you know what? It was my first knit sweater that I had started. I wanna finish it, so I did. So I finished it. Now the sleeves were done. All I had to do was finish the rest of the body and then the bind off. So I think I did pretty good there. There are a couple of weird uh, ways that sometimes I see a, like, a, like a bump right there. But I think it's the yarn. I really do. So I finished it off with some Hello Kitty buttons. So I think that it came out pretty darn good. And this was a mauve color. It it almost looks like it has little pink undertones. Because when my mom saw it, the first thing she said was, I like that mauve sweater. And I thought, mauve? What? And she says it looks mauve to her. Well, you know, I couldn't stop there. I had to make a hat. So I made a beanie style. It's a the Parker but I did it with two or three rows of ribbing at the bottom. She, I think she does two, but I did three. And then I added the Hello Kitty on there. And then I did a pair of booties to match. And these are the Parker booty again. So this pair is, or this outfit, is zero to three months the shoes and the hat and they will be in my Etsy shop so I'm happy about that being done Woo -hoo. and then I did end up doing a whole nother outfit so one of these days I'm gonna have to get back to my uh, Cals that I'm going. <laughs> I'm working on the um, What Time Is Lit Cal with Kim, and she's telling me that her uh, Lost in Time show is almost done. Well, I better get working on mine. I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> and then, um, because I, I don't think I'll finish it before the end of the month. But um, I'm also doing the Clement Poncho, which I have a quarter of that done. So... It's getting warm in here. I'm going to show you my last, uh, my last outfit that I made, and then I'm going to have to get off of here because it's really hot. So, I did another sunset or sunsuit. I'm sorry. This one, I didn't. I'm going to add blue buttons. I thought I added them. I didn't. Here's the sunsuit. I'm, I did it in the, it's really hot in here, <laughs> I did it in the uh, hand dyed heaven yarn, this is a three medium, the color on this one was fantasy, it's a blue, oh, it's just gorgeous, so I did that one, this outfit in the hand dyed fantasy, and the white is kobu, it's a whole cake of kobu so when you yeah, there the bottom I put a the edging blue edging on 
So that came out adorable. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put on blue buttons. The buttonholes are there. The buttons will be there. I forgot that I hadn't put them on. But you know what? That's okay. So to go with that sun suit, and now I didn't want to go crazy and make it real girly. I said, you know, if I lay off of some of the fanciness and just leave the blue, you could have this for a boy or a girl. So I didn't fancy up the hat. I just did a little sun hat and left it so it was just cute and plain. And then I did a pair of shoes and I did them just a little plain. So, and that I just did a little decoration on them. They don't have any ties, they're just slip on cotton for the summer. So, that's my episode 2028. 20, <laughs> oh, my goodness, it's warm. Okay, well. I will see you all next week. Um, I, I possibly will have an unboxing this week. I'm hoping that a uh, couple of my orders that got lost will get here. And um, you know, I have one from Michaels, and I, I have, it's just a really good deal I got. And I have one from Hershner's I've been waiting for since early May. And I probably will have some subscriptions land in here soon from Netcrate because I haven't ha had any show up. Um, I did manage to get Christy Cook's Tea Doddles uh, month, monthly bag, project bag this month. Um, I've, I've already know what it is, but that doesn't mean I won't brag and show it to you when it comes. So I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for hitting the like button. Bye now.